hey loves welcome back to my channel today I'm coming to you guys with kind of a massive haul it's a lot of the same kind of products but anyway so I shopped at CVS ikatehouse.com and at Hope look so this is just an overall haul so I'm gonna start off with my CVS buys I did return my L'Oreal foundation and I kind of used that credit towards the new purchases that I made and the first item I picked up was the L'Oreal visible L'Oreal visible lift blur concealer and I picked up the lightest shade which was fair and I have been using both of the fair and the light kind of one day here one day there so I really like the fair it is just perfect for highlighting I'm not sure how I feel about just yet but it is the L'Oreal collection privy um, by JLo lip color and it is 370 Jennifer's nude and honey listen this nude it goes on my lips it is extremely shiny as you can see even from back here there's not much color payoff to it so this feels like a lip balm to me it doesn't feel like a lipstick and I prefer very pigmented lipsticks I can work better with those I don't know how I feel about that right now so um, that was ten dollars and I don't think I got it on sale so I'm not very happy with that so I don't know I don't know yet so the final item I picked up from Maybelline was another color tattoo and I picked up one of their new ones their leather this one is in creamy beige and it is a really pretty brown beige color I'm gonna swatch it. I'm not gonna do close-ups today I feel like they take up a little bit more time but you can pretty much see the swatches from here and this one is like a brownie beige it does kind of match the sallowness I have in my eyes already so I have used this as a base for smoky eyes and I really like it for that but I haven't used it for this smoky eye actually but I have used it and I really do like it um it just gives me that nice base to work with I purchased a few things from Hot Look and this has been over the last two months like I've picked up one thing here one thing there because they can never have all the good sales at once it's just not possible because they just don't work that way but anyway the first thing I picked up was from the bomb and I picked up my Cindy luminizer I've been wanting this for a long time and this is just beautiful pretty it is like a rosy instead of a champagne or bright almost whitish highlight it's more on the pinky rosy side and it is just beautiful I have used it a lot quite a bit thing I picked up which was kind of long overdue because I've been eyeballing it and I think every uh, well-known youtuber has probably tried this or made a video on it and it is the Gerard's cosmetics whitening lightning color your smile lip gloss and this one is in coral craze and it has the little light I don't know if you guys can see that and this is actually a really nice lip gloss not my favorite kind of uh, formula because it is kind of sticky but they do last a long time on the lips so I will give them that and I like that it comes with a mirror and the light so I could put it on in the dark and whatever but it is really pretty um I prefer putting a lip liner at least first and then putting this on because me and lip glosses don't get along I have lines on my lips whatever it's not the lip glosses fault it's mine but I really do like it I don't know if I would pick up any other colors I kind of want nude and rose hill and that's I think it but yeah so they had a sale on Ico products and I'm so excited because I've been eyeballing new mascaras lately and I keep hearing good things about Ico so I picked up the Ico skinny brush mascara which is pretty good I tried it once and I was like oh hello it's very dark it's very pigmented these are water resistant so they're not waterproof but they last longer on the lashes and there's no flaking so that's always nice the next one I picked up was the curvy brush mascara which I have on today and I feel like this holds a curl this is magnificent the brush is wavy let me see if I can show you guys I'm trying to do this pretty fast but that's the wand it's very wavy and the small one let me show you guys I just broke the box this is the skinny brush mascara I love that it comes in these tubes because I feel like you won't waste any product and this is the skinny one mascara I actually like this very much okay so the next 
one I got was the Fat Brush Mascara, which I actually like as well. And they all come with these little guitar pick looking things, but they're actually shields to put over your eye while you're placing your mascara so you don't get it on your lids like I do all the time. Okay, so this is the Fat Brush Mascara, and this is a fat brush. This is a big fat brush, and I like it. I actually like all three. Kind of hard to decide for now because I've only been using them for the last like four or five days but I've been taking turns with them no shame I don't care I wear mascara so much that these will probably run through by the end of three months so the last thing I got from Ico was the skinny liquid liner and oh my god this is ridiculous this is the pencil right here I've seen I think I've seen a bunny graveyard girl use this I want to say it was her and I always was curious and oh my god I'm just gonna look at that that is dark that is dark um yeah it's dark it is wonderful I did not use it today I actually used the gel liner but my god that is even darker than my Jessie's girl which holy grail you know so let's see how well this works I haven't used it yet so fingers crossed that I really really like it and then not because it's expensive should have bought more from Hope Look. <laughs> okay, so I went to ikatehouse.com and I don't know if you guys have been on there. I've been to Cherry Culture and all that stuff. But this is their little card. It's ikatehouse.com and they got some wonderful products. So the first things I picked up were these lashes and these are Miss Adoro lashes. So these are the Demi Wispies and I think I should have popped them on today but it's such a smoky eye I don't think you'd notice. So I wanted to give these a go because I really like wispy lashes for my brides and for my prom girls so I think that I might be purchasing quite a few more of these for my kits but these are for me for my personal use. But both of these are she makeup uh, lip liners the first color is in mauve and the other color is in earth tone which is a brown which I like those kind of colors for under my nude lips so this is earth tone and this is mauve and they're both pretty cool I like actually the way they go on my lips and they were a dollar so not gonna go wrong with those uh, the next lip liner I picked up was from what is this NK is this Nika K? I don't know. Yep, this is a Nika K lip liner, and the color is in dark red. I'll put that next to the brown. And this seems to have some glitter to it, which I don't care for. But, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. It's not a bad red, but again, I don't think I care for the glitters too much but it was a dollar so it is what it is so the next thing I picked up was from LA girl and it is the glazed lip paint and I only picked one of these up because I wanted to see how it was on my lips and I have tried it on it is not that bad the color is hot mess and this is more on I want to say this is oh god I took too much out it's warm in this office so it's bound to happen so this is very pigmented it kind of reminds me of the lip paint that I just did for another video and that's pigmented it is really pretty I actually like it on my lips but I feel like I should put on a base first so we're gonna do that um, I picked up some LA girl pro concealers and I picked up six of them the colors I picked up was natural which is I actually numbered them this is the lightest color I have then I picked up classic ivory which is more of a peachy tone the next color is nude and I have actually been using this for like right in my little circle crease right there to kind of help cancel that out and the last two colors I picked up was almond and toast I used which ones did I use today I used natural and toast today on my face I didn't use any foundation I actually used it to contour and highlights no foundation under just moisturizer and primer and that was it that is my whole complete face look so I picked six of these up along with everything else and I think I only spent like 18 bucks uh, these retail for I think $5.99 on the LA girl website and I picked these up for $1.99 at IK house so if you're looking for these LA girl concealers I really like them so far so good they're very pigmented they're very rich and I feel like they set very nicely just make sure you set them with powder 
even if you have dry skin so I actually like these so if you want to stock up on these just go ahead and check out ikhouse.com I don't know if there's any other websites that have them but this was the site where I found the colors that I needed so anyway that is it for my haul I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if there's any items here that you guys like really like enjoy or have tried out let me know down below I love hearing you guys suggestions so anyway I'll see you guys on my next video love you guys Bye.